Hey guys, this is Persephone and this is another video for the Hermit Tarot. Now this is going to be a video, a video dedicated to Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your monthly reading for the month of April 2020. Now today is April 10th, so remember that messages can be timeless, gender is fluid, so is energy. So when I mean gender, that means that if I pick a card and it shows a female, doesn't mean that it's necessarily a female in the situation and it doesn't necessarily that it means that it's you. It could be that the energy from that specific personality trait is showing through. And then also with energy, I could be picking up your energy or I could be picking up the person's energy that you're dealing with. So remember, energy can be fluid as well when it comes to these general readings. Now remember, you can always leave me a comment, let me know if it resonates, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, of course. And I have opened a Patreon page for extended readings, so I will be giving a general reading. But if you want to catch the extended reading, you can always become a partner in my Patreon page. I will go ahead and leave the link down below. And I do want to apologize. Um, I tend to speak very slow so i usually make my videos a little bit faster and a lot of you left me a comment uh letting me know that the messages were not so clear and concise because they were too fast so i do apologize i won't be doing that anymore and remember i'm still having a contest for the month of april so one person who leaves me a comment um you have to be a subscriber and leave me a comment you can win a, a free general reading from me um go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will go ahead and announce the winner in the month of May and this person will get a free general reading from me and I will pick a winner by the end of the month okay but you do have to be a subscriber you have to leave me a comment and you can enter as many times as you want so the amount of comments is going to be the amount of entries so if you leave me 10 comments that means you have 10 um, entries in the contest okay guys but remember you do have to be a follower and remember, feel free to share this video, okay? So Capricorns, I do want to start off your reading by letting you know that right now we're still in the season of Aries, but Venus is actually in Gemini right now. So what that what does that mean for you guys? So what it means is that usually Gemini is a little fickle, right? The sign is a little fickle. The personality traits are a little talkative. But what happens is that because our Venus is in Gemini, a lot of people from our past are going to come and start to, start to revisit. So what that means is that you're going to have a lot of people coming in. It doesn't necessarily have to be lovers, but it can be someone that you used to deal with, someone that you have dealt with, someone that you had a situation with. People are going to come out of nowhere and try to talk to you, try to propose something for you, try to rekindle. It is up to you if you feel that the situation or the relationship or friendship is worth fighting for, worth working for, but remember why you guys stop talking, okay? So... Because we're in the month of, we're in April and our sun is still in Aries, it could be that we're going to make a very rash decision very hastily. And remember, Aries doesn't work like that. Aries works smart, not hard, but they're very quick to make decisions because they're a fire sign. And what does fire do? Fire ignites flames, right? Fire makes you feel stuff that's not necessarily there, but it, it magnifies everything. So keep that in mind, okay? So right now, we're going to go ahead with your reading. And I do hope that you enjoy. Let me see if I put this here. Okay, so right now, for the month of April, what's this Capricorn? Store. For the month of April, what does Capricorn have in store? Capricorn, I, I feel that you're you're dealing with, with a lot of clarity, a lot of precision, right? You know what you want, you know where you're going, but Capricorn's always do. It's rare that I know that I find a Capricorn who doesn't know exactly how to do things, where to do them, who to do them with. Capricorns are badass bitches.
So Capricorn, you were dealing with someone who was promising you happiness, was promising you, was promising you to end their dirty ass ways, right? They were promising you that you guys were going to have a happy ending. Now this could be someone that was dealing, you were dealing with romantically or professionally, but I see that this was more of a romantic level. So I see cup, the king of, excuse me, the knight of cups and the 10 of cups. So you definitely were dealing either with a water sign, cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Or you could have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But because I have double double water here, I have a big feeling that it was a Pisces. So this person was proposing the idea of happy endings, happy, happy go lucky between you guys. But that's not how you necessarily was feeling. It seems like that relationship where your happy times are over with that person. It seems like you had to deal with a lot of criticism. Somebody it could have been that you were dealing with someone who had a very ruthless attitude, a very quick attitude, uh, someone that thought they were always right, right? He wanted to lead. And again, remember, gender is fluid. I'm just using the pronoun he, but it could have been that you were dealing with a she. It could have been that this was your energy, that this person felt like they were always fighting you, always fighting with the idea of um, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What do you want to eat? Who are you talking to? It's like, you guys were constantly, constantly, constantly dealing with the idea of like, who's right, who's wrong. And it seems like you guys both wanted to take the lead, right? Because I see two masculine energies here. So it could have been that you guys knew that it's like, okay, who's leading, you or me? So with the Nine of Pentacles, the full and the eight of wands that lets me know that there were a lot of other opportunities for you guys to work on this relationship and it's like you blindly wanted to go and and seek happy endings with this person it's like you blindly wanted them to lead you you blindly thought that they knew everything that they you thought this person was amazing they were beautiful they were sexy they were everything that you ever wanted but unfortunately that that's not that's not what was happening could have been that this person was sneaking around and this person was actually dealing with more than just you or was it you was it that you got caught and that you were dealing with more than one person okay capricorn let's see let's clarify Yeah, you didn't want to see it in front of you. You didn't want to see that this person had more than just you or this person didn't want to see the fact that you had more than one opportunity, that you only had more than one person after you. Um, there, were a, there were a few people that were after you um, and somebody was not being honest about how they felt. They were not being honest about what kind of relationships they were having with other people. Was it that this person was actually cheating with you? Cheating on you with a co-worker or was it you that you had your eye on someone at school or at work it could have been that somebody that you had been working close with you actually didn't want to see the opportunity but yeah somebody was definitely being tempted somebody was definitely being tempted by someone at work clarify this for me clarify this for me Clarify this energy for Capricorn. Clarify this energy for Capricorn. Yeah. The person that you were dealing with or you yourself actually felt that it, in order for you to actually make things work, 
you turned a blind eye, you turned isolated, you turned cold. You wanted to seek the answers within, but unfortunately, that's not what this person was doing. Or again, vice versa. It could have been that you, you wanted this person to blindly look away, to blindly not see, to blindly not be able to let them know that you had other opportunities out there. But, hmm. Capricorn, it seems like the relationship that you were dealing with had a lot of opportunities, a lot of outside decisions, a lot of outside people talking shit, a lot of people giving their opinion, and you didn't want to see it or that person didn't want to see it. And then the person that you were dealing with or yourself, you knew that you had, you had another person who was interested in you, who wanted to fuck with you, who wanted to talk to you, who wanted to see what was up with you, right? But you either felt that that person also was a little slick, they were not being the most honest person, they were a little sneaky about what, what they were doing, and you felt like you had to retrieve. You actually felt like you didn't want to deal with anyone anymore, Capricorn. Let's see, what's next? What's next for you, Capricorn? Capricorn, after this this little chaotic, you see how that spread was like a little overwhelming, chaotic? It was a lot of water. Right now, what you're going to have, you're going to have a peace of mind. You're going to have the opportunity to not only speak your mind, but speak to this person and let them know, I did not fucking like what was happening. I felt like you were... You were driving me insane. Everything was in circles. Everything was in fucking circles. We were not talking clear. We were not expressing ourselves. And it's like either you both retreat from the relationship or you both decided like, this is, this is not what I want to deal with. I'm throwing my hands up. Fuck it. But now you're going to have the opportunity to be complacent, to be peaceful, to actually feel like this is it. This is meant to be. But you guys have to work on it, right? The overall energy is that you guys are no longer fighting for this. You guys are going to reach a moment where you guys are going to be peaceful and you guys are going to actually understand each other, right? There's no more guarded relationships. There's no more guarded feelings. There's no more guarded thoughts. You guys are going to be actually giving each other the opportunity. Like, listen, hear me out. This is what I want. This is what I need from you. What are we doing from here? right because if you don't want to do this if you don't want to have a, a, a happy ending with me if you don't want to be peaceful with me if you don't want to just fuck with me then be out be out Capricorn. like and and this could be you too capricorn if you feel like you don't want to be with this person or you don't want anything with this person anymore this is not going to be your happy ending this is not where you feel at peace this is not home for you then be out definitely be out so Capricorn, this is just a quick preview of your April month reading. I will go ahead and post the extended reading on my Patreon. So if you're interested in listening and hearing and seeing what's next, definitely go out and check my Patreon page. I'll go ahead and link, leave the link down below. And remember, I'm still running the free general reading for the month of May. In order to enter, you do have to be subscribed leave a comment. You can enter as many times as you want, but you do have to leave a comment. So for every entry, there should be a comment. You can let me know if this resonates. You can let me know anything as 
has your month how's your month of social distancing been or let me know what situation you're actually dealing with okay i do ask that you guys refrain from personal details because i do not want anyone um scamming you or making you feel that they know more um about you than they should so definitely be careful when you're leaving me details but again you can leave me a comment for every entry you'd like and i will catch you on patreon for your extended reading